Breaking news, Bill Cosby is out. Let me repeat, Bill Cosby is getting out of prison. Welcome to Escape the Echo Chamber. Huge news just broke, Bill Cosby's conviction has been overturned. Bill Cosby is getting out of prison. He's not, as of me filming this, he's not out, but by the time this, I, I post this, he may actually be out. The uh, Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned his conviction. Now, he was sentenced to three to 10 years. He had just went before the parole board earlier this year and had been shot down. Why was he shot down? He was shot down because he refused to uh, go to treatment sex for sexual violent, violent predator treatment. Um, they said unless he went to that treatment, unless he you know um, accepted responsibility, expressed remorse, they would not consider his parole. Now, he was eligible to be released as early as September of this year. So had he accepted responsibility, had he um, expressed remorse, had he engaged in the, the treatment, he could have been getting out anyway in September of this year, possibly, potentially. However, he did none of that, and now his, his conviction has been overturned and further prosecution is being barred, uh, according to the reports that are out. Why was the conviction overturned? Now, the overturning of the conviction isn't saying that he is innocent of the charges against him. They're overturning it because of procedural issues. One of those procedural issues is that the testimony that was used against Bill Cosby was testimony that he gave under assurances from a, a different prosecutor that he would not face penalties for providing such testimony. So what the courts are saying and establishing is that it's not fair for promises to be made from the government to the criminal defendants and then to renege on those promises in order to get convictions. And quite frankly, from a criminal justice standpoint, that makes a great deal of sense. Now, um, there's going to be a lot of people who, you know, uh, who are supporters of Me Too and who, who are just outraged about his being released. Once again, I established he would have been eligible to be released in September anyway. However, there are also people who are supporters of Bill Cosby who grew up watching him, who were big fans of him, who, who looked up to him. You know, he was a hero to a lot of people. A lot of people were disappointed when everything went down and, and this, th this case went through. Those people, a lot of those people right now could be cheering. I'm curious to see what the general, um, you know, what, what, what the, the, the general tone of coverage is going to be. But in terms of criminal justice, I got to say, this is a big deal. Um, even though it's, it's, it's not like a federal case, it's a case for people within that jurisdiction that, hey, the prosecutors just can't make promises to you, break those promises, and then try you um, because you relied, and under the advice of a lawyer, you relied on the accuracy of those promises to provide them with information that they're now going to use against you. And um, that's where, that was one of the things they had found in, in this court, um, in this latest finding from the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. One of the other things is they expressed um, concern about the introduction of cases and, and testimony from uh, accusers who were completely outside of the statute of limitations and it seemed uh, as more prejudicial than uh, uh, pertinent to the, the actual finding the, the truth of this specific incident. Um, so yeah, these are some big I mean, it's a huge case because it's Bill Cosby, world, world, worldwide known, um, you know, America's dad at one point. So this is clearly a big case for that. But even from a criminal justice standpoint, there's a lot of things that, you know, people have got to be like, yeah, that makes sense. Because um, you got to realize sexual assault is a very horrible crime. And then when, when we're dealing with sexual assault cases, we may want to say, okay, like, get these rules out the way, get these rules out the way so that, you know, perpetrators of sexual assault can be held responsible. But there's a danger in that. There's a huge danger in that, and that people who aren't guilty can get, you know, caught up in getting rid of certain protection procedures. And so this is, a, like I said, this is a huge deal. Bill Cosby is getting out of prison. Um, the, according to the, the, the findings, they're saying he can't be prosecuted based on, um, based on his, his past testimony 
and the you know the testimony that they that they used against him, the statements. So this is a huge deal. Um, yeah, as always, uh, hey, comment below what you think of this case. If you're a um, supporter of Bill Cosby's, if you were and you still are, if you were a supporter and you're no longer, if you just are absolutely appalled that he's getting out, comment below what you think of this case. I'll see you next time.